What's good guys, OBF back here, back again with another Vans review. And today I got the Comfy Kush Era in the suede canvas black marshmallow colorway, size 13. Retail on these was 65. So this new Comfy Kush technology, this is gonna be Vans latest and greatest. Uh, they're gonna do a pretty heavy push on this. There's a ton of colorways coming out with these shoes, ton of different models. Um, you'll see a lot of the basics. So, you know, black, white, skate high era. Um, old school, some checkerboard slip-ons, black slip-ons, whatever it is, uh, you'll see the basics come out, but also some other colorways, some more unique ones like the one I have here. Uh, but essentially what these are is they're kind of replacing the lights. If you guys are familiar with the Vans uh, light classic models, they feature the foam bottoms on them to give them half of the weight, plus to be uh, just a little bit more comfortable with the foam soles to walk on. So here we have the latest, the Comfy Kush here. And as far as I know, Vans is pushing out the lights, just the, the older ones. I know that they've taken them out of their retail store, so I don't really know if they're just gonna discontinue them altogether, or if they're just gonna see how these ones do, possibly bring them back, because I know that there are still a ton of people that are in love with the lights. So we will see how that plays out. But for now, let's talk about the Comfy Kush. So like I mentioned, does feature that foam bottom, just like the lights did. The big thing about these that's different is gonna be the rubber grip on the bottom. So we have your classic waffle tread here in the gum, but you can see it's kind of infused with the foam. You can see it in the middle of the diamonds there, uh, which is really cool because this is kind of like what Vans did with the ISO and the Ultra Range. The ISO initially had just the foam bottom, didn't have the best traction on them. And um, I guess Vans got that hint and then they released the Ultra Range, which is essentially the same type like running uh, athletic style shoe, but it had rubber grip on it. So uh, better traction still with the comfortable foam sole. So now we see that here with the comfy cush and you're also gonna see a couple other features uh, more so on the interior of the shoe to give it that more comfortable feel. Of course, we have the comfy cush insole here, which is highlighted with the little cloud in that Tiffany blue color. And this is gonna be a fairly thin insole. Um, it's not like paper thin, but it's definitely um, not like any of the pros or anything like that. And this is gonna be more of like a memory foam type feel, kind of like the ortholites, I guess. You can kind of feel the sponginess to it. You'll see a very minimal amount of arch support around the uh, medial side of the shoe. I don't know if you guys can pick that up right here. You also have these tongue straps, which will hold down the tongue so it won't be twisting on you and also give it that snug sock-like feel. I had to try these on myself and I do think that they are slightly snug. I wouldn't say that they're tight, like uncomfortable, but uh, they do hold your feet pretty well and they are very comfortable to walk on. One of the things I did notice though, walking on the shoe, is it does kind of feel like a platform in a sense. I don't know why, it's just, it seems really high up, which I guess is kind of like the lights as well. You do want that thicker foam on there to just last a little bit longer. So just a heads up for anybody picking these up. Another thing on the Comfy Kush that I thought was kind of strange was the shape. So my particular pair here, it's not too crazy. I got lucky with this one, but there are some that have some pretty wonky uh, toe bumpers here where they kind of stick out and then they come back in real deep. So if you guys are very particular about the shape of your shoe, I do suggest looking at these in store first uh, because if you buy these online, you never know what you're gonna get. You might get a funky one, but I could really care less about it. Um, I'm not too particular about the shape or any kind of like scratches or glue marks or whatever. I don't really care that much. So it doesn't really phase me, but I know there are people out there, so just a heads up. So this particular colorway here, I have the toe box heel and the tongue being made up in a black suede, which is not the best quality of suede, but I really was not expecting much. This to be a GR. You got the quarter panels being in this marshmallow color, which I believe is a canvas, kind of has like a twill type texture to it. so find that to be a little interesting. You got your white Vans flag on the side with the black Vans logo, marshmallow colored eyelets with your basic GR white laces. Of course, the contrast stitching gonna be in white throughout the shoe. 
sits on top of that white midsole with the black foxing stripe. You got your red heel tab with a white off the wall skateboard on it as usual. And that's pretty much it. As I told you guys before, Vans is doing a very heavy push on this Comfy Cush technology. And actually today, the 16th of February, uh, there are, I believe, five different shops uh, dropping collaborations featuring the Comfy Cush technology. So we have Union, we have Bodega, uh, Blends, Proper, and Dark Side Initiative all releasing uh, sets of shoes featuring this technology. And it's, it's pretty overwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. There's definitely a lot of shoes being thrown at us at once. Of course, the most coveted, the blends ones, uh, have already sold out immediately. I definitely tried to cop a pair, but it, I don't even know how people are copping pairs of those because they go so quick. Uh, so I had to take an L on that one. But nevertheless, just a lot of shoes coming out. So if you guys are very interested in this Comfy Kush, I do suggest um, checking out some of those vault ones. There's also gonna be a, like a basic vault drop to come out of these where it's like a woven checkerboard pattern on some eras so uh definitely looking forward to those and yeah hope you guys enjoy the review as always be sure to stay tuned for the on feet also guys before i forget i do want to mention that these are a bit heavier than the lights uh they're definitely not on the same level as far as the weight goes i think the rubber on the bottom really adds to the weight of the shoe but uh just to give you guys a heads up